thank you for joining us as we talk with Her Excellency Governor Maura Healy. Governor, welcome. Good to be with you, John. Always great to have you. Thanks thank for you. coming. So the brand new $2.3 billion Green Line extension is a fiasco. Uh, and as you came in to tape with us on Thursday afternoon, we uh, just got word that, in your words, senior MBTA officials under the previous administration knew about issues with the Green Line extension, tracks, uh, problems with the tracks years ago, did not disclose them to our administration or address them on their watch, end quote. How could this happen? It's a good question, and that is why, uh, first of all, I'm really upset about it. Um, this is the Green Line extension that opened last fall, last year, to a lot of fanfare. And here's what we know. My new GM has discovered that for the last few years, it had been known by senior officials at the T that there were problems there, that there were defects that needed to be addressed. Not only did that, that not get disclosed, it did not get addressed. Did Governor Here's, Baker know? I have no information to suggest that he knew. Here's what I've done. Um, GM Ang, who has been fantastic since he started in March, quickly got after it. He's taken swift action. <clears throat> that includes changes in personnel, and it includes a demand to the contractor to fix this and a demand for a plan to fix this. By the way, they need to foot the bill for it. I'm not going to accept this. Um, it, is, it is absolutely unacceptable. And, John, public transportation is a public good, and that's why I'm backing everything that Phil Ang is doing as GM, who, by the way, is the first GM in many, many years who comes with any transportation experience. He and, you know, he is, I, I give him credit for identifying the issue, disclosing it, and taking steps okay. to address it. He was here a few months ago. We were impressed with him. Godspeed. We wish him all the best. In the meantime, though, you know, this is not a new experience for us beleaguered taxpayers and MBTA riders or wannabe MBTA riders. Uh, you really, you can go back to the big dig. Or you can go back to uh, the UMass Boston campus and see systemic failures in major public works projects where, and, uh, where there's failures of oversight, failures of accountability that go right from Beacon Hill down through the system. What are you going to do to change that cycle? Well, you know, I took this job understanding that the T was going to be a major, major issue. And as governor, I have accepted the task of making sure that we're doing everything that we can to address years, years of mismanagement under investment. This one, uh, though, the blame here, okay, and I want to be clear, yep. it's not on the workers, okay? And in fact, we need more workers, and I'm proud that we've recruited more workers to the T. The problem here is with senior officials at the T under the prior administration who knew information, didn't disclose it, and most importantly, didn't address it. The good news now is we have taken steps to fix the immediate issues. The Green Line extension is entirely safe. I do want the public to know that, John. But as governor, I'm not going to be afraid to make sure that we are taking on issues. I'm going to be transparent when the pub, with the public when things come up. And most importantly, we are going to hold people accountable and make the investments that we need Go to make. Governor and that includes in uh, is supporting the new GM who has brought in a right. new management and leadership team with actual operational experience to make sure we are getting things done. Governor, respect respectfully, I'm flashing back to how Charlie Baker sounded when he came into office and talked talked about the mess at the MBTA that he had inherited, the, the deferred maintenance and so forth. There's something deeper in the culture. I don't know if the unions are a part of it. I don't know if uh, there's a management culture that enables this kind of malfeasance. Uh, but I, I, I'm just not so persuaded that even a great guy like Phil Lang and a well-meaning governor like you uh, can just uh, uh, fire a couple of people and uh, everything will be fixed. It's more than a couple of people and you know I want to be clear um, this is not on the unions and this is not on the workers this in terms of what happened and in fact we need to support the workers because we need people out there doing the repairs uh, doing the safety inspections operating the trains and buses this is on management John okay. um, who who really you know for whatever reason lacked either the competence or the wherewithal 
to, to do what was necessary to run the T. And we've made a number of personnel changes over the last several months. Right. Um, that's important. It's important that we made the investments that we've made in the budget. And you are entitled and have every right to look at somebody like me with skepticism because you've seen this movie before. What I'm Many saying, times. What I'm saying to you is that I'm governor now. And okay. I am going to do everything I can because public transit, it's an imperative. It's a public good. We need it for our residents. We need it for our businesses and economic growth and development. And, and it is unacceptable to me, the status quo. And that's why every day I'm going to bring it in terms of what we need to do to address this. It will take time. It, but, you know, we uh, absolutely need to make sure that, that we're addressing it.